Okay, Barry contacted me through the week and he went to Marshall Smart's place and they were bugging around with injectors and they were talking about um, my little setup here. So I told him I'd do a video. Oh, just so I walk around for Marshall, I think. Um, so what we have here is this is a piece I'll drop you down a bit better. Okay, so you can see the injector tester there. This is this is just a piece of I think it's eight and a quarter inch channel across, and this is just how the old fire I bought it off had it, and under here we have a drawer and that drawer has the brass brush for cleaning the nozzles um, you know a bit of bit of lapping nozzle lapping paste um, look just knickknacks that are that are useful in the that's a that's a thing I put in it that's a, a slide hammer for the John Deere pencil injectors um, we have the spanners to hold the top of some of the um, you know the, do the nozzle nuts and things like that. So, so that's just a drawer. Nothing special about it. So they've got a piece of box, a piece of channel. There's a a tin floor, and the tin floor comes down here, along and up, and they've tacked along the top here. So, and the old fellow I bought it off, he was a field service fitter like myself, and he used to have this with a cover that used to go into his ute, and we have a tin cover on top of it. You can see, yep, you can see the catches there. Around the back here, around the back, you can see a couple of holes here, so you can push the drawer back out of the way, and these holes, you can actually sit your injector in those holes and undo the nut. So. It just gives you clearance under here. They're two different. They're two different settings. Um, I think this one's. I think this one's two and an eighth. And the holes are. The hole on that one is inch and an eighth. The hole on this one is one inch. The bolt hole spacings are. That's two inch. The one with the one inch hole is two inch. The one with the inch and an eighth hole is inch and three quarter. And they're just little five sixteenth bolts that he's brought up in from underneath. And it looks like they've had a bit of a twist over the years, but but that's the design of it. That's a I find that very handy. And and with the top off here, you can normally um, well let's. Let's just do that quickly, just to, um, to, pr to prove the point sort of thing. So when you do an injector, you pull this top off and you usually back the injector right out. You back that, back the adjusting nut right out and take the pressure off the nut down below. And then the idea is that you Put it back in upside down and see for this international one that hole needs to be bigger so probably inch and an eighth for the hole is a better size I know I've done them in there but this one here doesn't actually it doesn't actually fit down there you could it's probably on the bolts enough to undo a nozzle but um, yeah so it does undo them but you're up the top of the bolts here so it'll be better to have this hole bigger so that this surface here sat down against that surface. So even though it does do the job, it's, um, it could be better there. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, before I bought this, I used to have a, a very large piece of angle iron and I had this set up, just the holes and the bolts in a piece of angle iron and I'd put the angle iron in the vise. <coughs> and... Um, yeah, yeah, you still had your holes, your way of holding the injectors correctly, yeah, so you didn't damage the bodies or anything. You still had that there, um, but it was just on a on a large piece of angle line that you that I put in the vice. Um, yeah, another 
I did a video way back on making that nut. That's, that's up the end of your injection pump where the veins go. That goes into the piece of steel that your veins sit in and it's left hand thread and that'll undo, um, that'll undo that if you need to get that off for some reason. But I'm bloody sure I did a video making that. Another thing that um, you may find interesting is this tool here. Now this is a homemade tool. It's angle iron with a piece of flat. Um, part of me, it's got a fine nut there and just a bit of bar, you know, threaded bar. That's 5.8 by the look of it. And that nut inside there is a very fine thread. And well, it doesn't fit these ones, but it fits some of the other ones. And <coughs> um, some of the early masses, I'm, I'm sure I've used it on an early massy. Yeah, see, there's your adjusting nut. And what you can do is if you have an injector that's jammed in, you can screw this down on top of the adjusting thread on your injector and you can actually use this to pull it out. So, yeah. so you haven't got bars and things all around here and lever and making a big mess. You can actually, um, yeah, you can actually sit this down over the top of the injector, screw it onto the adjusting nut and put some force on and pull the injector out via via the adjusting nut and that's a fine thread so see this is off a normal Fergie one a COV one these these early Pintox nozzles uh, must be a bit fatter eh? there's something different with them but um, yeah that's the go um, the I'll bring you up just a little bit but I think I've showed you my injector tester in the past I did have a I do have a cheap Chinese one round the back there that um, <coughs> that I don't actually use anymore. Um, and this is a proper CAV one with the tank at the back and bloody beautiful old bit of gear. Oh, this, this lever, the pin comes out of that. That's your lever and that goes up in there for traveling. And then we have a tin cover that sits down over top. Like I say, the old mate that was using it, he was a, um, he was a field service fitter like myself. So this used to go in the back of his ute and away he went but <clears throat> so there you go Barry Marshall I hope that um, that fills that little gap that you were looking to have filled with the uh, well that's that's just I did this isn't my design I bought it like that off um, off old um, Mr. Hare and um, but yeah it's a handy thing you can just put it in the ute um, put your injectors up the back there in the holes and sort that out and um, yeah, there you go. So that's show and tell over. <laughs> Sorry, Barry, I bloody nearly forgot that. Um, lucky I mentioned you at the end there, or um, oh yeah, it wouldn't have been there. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next week. Okay, there's the carryall. Um, you can see the old grey under the lighter grey. The lighter grey was the colour I did the... Um, did the FE35 in but I've got it pretty well sanded back there's a few places like in here I'd like to smooth out a little bit I'll use the little Rolock sanding pads for that but I'll get that sorted um, yeah I'll get that all tidied up might shout out a new set of pins um, I've got the I've got the tag popped out it was lucky that I could just get a rivet uh, get a pin punch in the back and pop the rivets out here so it's tucked away it'll have a polish and yeah I think um I think it'll come up good but yeah because it's a Ferguson it'll go Ferguson gray and yeah that'll be good um this fella here yeah there's the headlights and the paint I got the other day down on the floor so um Yeah, so I'll probably, while I'm sanding, I might sand those headlights around and get that ready. I'll just see. <laughs> I've only got half a day today because of this meeting, so who knows how far I'll get. But um, I'll have a bit of a go. Bloody go. Oh, me old, me screws and that. I sorted all them out the other day sitting in the sun. All your self-drilling ones. And the sheet drills and things like that. So I'm glad I've got that sorted out and 
Oh, I need to take you for a walk. Look, the sun's the sun's nearly up. It's nice and light. Yeah, the paddock's looking good. And round here, this is Lance's dick around area. So I'm playing with um, with rally compound gates. And I went to Bunnings and I bought a little gate and a hinge and, a, and an alloy post. And will that sit there for me for the moment? Okay. And that's a that's a $69, I think it might have been, gate and a two forty dollar posts from Bunnings and I'm just trying to work out a nice light little gate for the compounds that we can put the signs on and um, I've got them banged in with two star pickets which is how we normally do it at the rallies um, and I've also got a little catch little catch here that I haven't put on because of no need yet but on the bottom of these posts I actually cut out the shape of these star pickets and so I thought that'd go okay but when you knock the star pickets in some of them want to turn on you and the one on the right you can see it's turned and it's not parallel with the gate uh, anyway um, so what I'm thinking of doing is um, I might buy a little piece of alloy and the old gates now this is an old gate I had from years ago made out of a bit of old PDO shaft and that we have a little piece of strip going along the bottom there under the gate and that actually holds it all together at the right spacing and all that so I think I may need to um, do that and these gates you just popped a, an old bit of PDO shaft and a bit of pipe down there and these these gates you just banged a star pick it in and hooked your fence to it and away you went so um, so these ones here this one here look it's lovely and light everyone's saying that old gate was too heavy and all that so these are nice and light but um, yeah I, I think I need that strip on the bottom to hold the proper gap and instead of having the star picket shape on the bottom of them just have that round so we can just bang it over and with two pickets it's got to be right hasn't it so anyway that's something I'm working on when I've got nothing to do